Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Borussia Dortmund career mode in the last episode. We started off with a banger against Leipzig, winning on penalty shootouts to qualify to the next round. Happy days indeed. Then we went on to sign the main man, Big Erlen Hallam and Hoysland as well. A 20 year old with a lot of potential that I can see right there. Only picked up the 0-0 though against Hamburg. Bit of a dull game, but it is what it is. I mean, it's kind of butchered us a little bit on the league table. But, you know, we always have games like that. It just happens. But then, the highlight, in my eyes, was the last game. A 2-1 Wolfsburg and a Hallam with an absolute banger for British Dortmund to win us the game. But we focus on today's episode here today. And it looks like the first game is against Hamburg away. So, let's get into the lineups and see if we continue with another dub. Come on. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is the lineup today against Hamburg away. Pretty much our strongest team as per usual because we want to go off from last episode and continue winning games and climbing to the first position in the Bundesliga. So, Golelo back in left back, Munir in DM and also the big boy Hallen and Gapo still up top there. Looking at Hamburg's team though, I can only recognise probably one or two players and that's Diallo in the DM row and Camelo up top right there. Other than that, I can't really familiarise with any of the players in their team. So, I'm hoping and quite confident, especially with Hallen back up top, that we can start off this episode with a dub. Come on. So we can see here this number seven, Bill Belezia. I cannot pronounce it, but a shocker. Scoring three in his last game. They're not too shabby indeed. We're back in the snow again. Seems that we get a lot of snowy games in this career mode, especially over the Funders Liga here in Borussia Dortmund. Match day 22, though. Like I said, with Hallen back up top, I'm much, much more confident that we can bring up some more consistent Ws for Borussia Dortmund and climb the table. So let's see how we get on and see if we can start the episode with a W. Come on, boys. Big start. Let's have it. So here we have it then. See what they could do here. You might hear... You might not hear it, but the audio might be a little bit iffy uh, these next maybe couple of episodes with the Argo and Dortmund 1. I think my... Uh, I think my mic's kind of crackling up, so... I think it's uh, on its way out, so I do apologise if it does sound a little bit different, but it will be fixed, I uh, will guarantee that. And they're on the ball, let's focus on today's episode though, Kettle won the ball here. It's a good turn, and Camelo's trying to get up in his minute 1-0. There's me talking about my shitty mic. And number 11, the player that I said to watch out for, has made it 1-0 to Hamburg. Not the start that Borussia Dortmund want to see right there. A shocking start, we just got switched off of the back there, well I did. Personally, but Bremer there gets caught out. Tamari just gets sent. There's a good finish into the top left corner. We need to bounce back. It's early stages. Come on. Radio. So not the start we want today. Gavi as well. Obviously back into the lineup as Guerrero drops into that left back row. Also, we want to see Tonali coming back as well. He's he's getting there. He's getting there. We know he's coming back. But he's still a little bit injured, so hence why Munoz is in the DM row today. Munoz with a Ball. Oh, not the best ball, is it? Not the best ball there. It needs to be a little bit better. A horrible start for Dortmund so far. Need to really grab this ball. It's a good ball over the top there to number 18. Back inside. There's another shot at goal. And it just skims the goal there from Keto. There, Barry not looking too impressed. I don't blame him. It's not the start we want in the Bremer. Out wide there to Gurtuga. Tomorrow on the ball, plays it over. There we go, it's a good ball to Glelo. Glelo handed on the ball now. Try to do a bit of tricky pokey there. It's not really one for doing with skills, so that's probably a bit of a shocker for me there. Glelo, good interception, no, just couldn't win it back though. Condor's Dorger, I don't know how to pronounce that. Absolute shocker. Bremer, well done. Kobo, out we go. Well done, good kick, my man, man. Come on, got a bit of a gap in. Jude Brennan. Can he find Ernhan? Then to link up to the cruiser, so he does find him. Ernhan through here. Haaland on the outside the boot. And do not give that man that room because he will punish you. That is why we brought him back in. That is why we swapped him pretty much with Jao Felix's funds. And it's the dynamic duo of Drew Bellingham and Ernhan linking back up once again. And now the game is drawing. Very nice. A good ball over the top there and just using the pace. They have Holland, but it's an easy finish. It's light work when you have a player of that structure in your squad. Great finish. Come on, let's go on the winning app. So we've seen how dominant Holland was in the previous episode, and once again he has stepped up 
in this game when we need him the most. But can he win us the game? Can the whole Dortmund team pick off from that sloppy start? Guerrero now on the ball. Played the goalie gap ball there. Can we get some going? I'm going to go with the switch here. We just couldn't get it off. Unlucky. But we have got a free kick here. I'm not too shabby. I might, I might go for the shot. It's not too bad out in terms of angle. And there's obviously one man I'm looking at, and it's Golero. He is uh, the free kick master in the Bristol Dortmund team. Man, should get a go for that thing. Bit low. A lot of power. Could contest the keeper. It is on target. It was going to the corner. But it needed a lot more power, didn't it? It didn't pay off. But a good kick there from the keeper. But luckily, Bremer successfully wins it down. And Golero, a lot of composure. One of the players of the season by country mark. Gabby fakes him out. Great fake there. We've got another chance of Vert's great play this. It looks like Haaland's lingering in. Haaland's there. It's a great ball. Lovely bit of play from Dortmund on that left-hand side. But we cannot convert the finish with Haaland. Haaland. The manual shooting did not play into our favour. And it goes very wide. Unlucky though. Good run. So the ball has been kicked up here. Can we win this head down? We can. Win it from Bremer. Here comes Haaland now. Trying to get the 1-2 there with Gapo. We just couldn't get it off. Unlucky indeed. Camelo's a good ball there. Andrew Tuga does well. Well done indeed. Just going to get Brown making the run there. Now we play into the inside. That's a good fake at Jude. And again, oh, and I think Haaland's just offside. He is. We should have held our run a little bit there with Haaland and maybe just not rushed it with Gakpo. We had the run there with Gakpo to be fair, maybe. But we did rush it and it was a very sloppy decision there by myself. So are they going to take it short or are they going to go long hand? Let's have a look. Camelo's injured in the top left corner, if anyone can see that, which is nice in our favour there. The goal scorer for Hamburg has picked up an injury, and it is one all at the break, just like that. Not a bad half from us. I mean, we just switched off at the start because I was about my uh, mic right there. But yeah, I will repeat it. If it does sound a little bit echoey or a bit, you know, just not as sync as it was in the previous videos, I do apologise. I was in trouble trying to sort this out, and I just can't find a solution. So I think it's time to scrap that and get a brand new mic or something. I don't know. But focus on today, though. one all at the break. We need to bounce back in the second half. Come on, boys. So, ladies and gentlemen, I've decided to make no changes at halftime. I think the team's doing all right. I think we just had a bit of a blip in the first 10 minutes where we conceded. So I think now we're looking a lot more better. I think we could definitely pick up the result today. Gakpo, good hold-up play there. Going to Guatuga here. Goes to Jude Benham. Inside the gap pull. We get a bit of running. Gap pull has been pulled offside. Unlucky there, indeed. I just I did think he might have been offside. I didn't really want it to go to him. I wanted to go back to Grutuga, but he uh bowled his run up the pitch. We win the ball back down with Munich. He's doing a really good job in DM recently. I think he's doing it right there. Could be maybe a position change there if we uh if he's able to do it. Good ball inside there. There's a ball down line there. It's going to verse. Can Vert make it? No, he cannot make it. 2 1. Gap pull still on the ball though. It's still alive. It was a dude. We go away, we can unlucky. We should have definitely scored that with Verts, but did not put it away. Very annoying indeed. Guerrero on the ball now. Inside. Gapo's there. Cody Gapo, can he make it 2 1? He can! Number 11. We know we just signed Erlen Hannon, but do not forget the man that has been consistently quite decent this season so far. And that is Cody Gapo. He does hit and miss sometimes, but today. He has stepped up a good ball there from Gavi into Cody and he's wellied it into the right side of the goal. And it looks like both strikers are hitting tremendous form and that is what we want to see with our forwards. Well done. We're back in the lead. Come on. So there we go. 2-1 away to Hamburg. A lot more better. Now, I did say I was confident we might get the result now in the second half. That's why I didn't make any changes. But here comes that Belagio. Score three, remember. So... He's probably one to watch in this team. Merritt in the ball. Goes inside to Kelo. That's how he pronounce his name. I'm shocking to pronounce his name if anyone didn't know that right now. The threat. De Costa on the ball. He's found a gap there to the guy. There's a good save from Kobo. But he is being ruled offside. But don't take it away from Kobo's uh, save there. But there's a Mifret going off with Rez there. Not too bad of a substitution there. Must... Uh, must be quite a bit of a baller for taking him off. He seemed like quite a good player. We just saw there that the rest. Jude Benham. No fake there. Haller's making the run. Can Haller use his strength to get a tap onto that? He can. Unlucky. 
I think it's a good shoe got better Jala. I'm, I'm so bad at dancing these, what a shocker. I mean, they are hard on anything but not, I must say. To tell on the ball, number 10. There's a back pass there to number 7. Good switch there. Put off Gareth Garza, good plays from Hamburg. Hamburg's free and Kobel has to pull off the save on the near post. We've got a quick substitution here. More off the good Tuga. I think that's a good substitution there. He seems to be a little bit struggling down that right side. So new fresh legs. Should hopefully do the job right there. He had a bit of a stinker, I believe, more eh? recent times, but hopefully he deems a little bit there. They found a gap there and a good save from Kobel. Very similar from Kobel there. Papa that lost on to Bremen. I'm bringing on the weaker side here. But it's fresh legs, so we need that right now. Good play. Sends it Gary to the shots. A good ball, it's a good shot, and it's another corner. Can we get another substitution there? Modric on for Munich in that DM row. Why not? Let's just keep getting the substitutions on. We're defending okay ish, but we need to get this ball out. This is the third time in the round, and they're getting a corner. They turn me again. They're going to definitely get some of this. We keep going, and it's deflected. And it's him again. It's Camelo. It was coming. It was coming. We could not defend the short corners for days. We just kept getting turned silly kept sending me to the shop and it's him again the guy that I recognise he has scored once again Camelo very lucky they've just deflected off one of our centre backs and he gets a tap in the end open goal can we find a winner near the end here we need to win these games so two or I'm looking at one man to save me and that's Erlen Hanley save me against Wolfsburg can he do it against whole Hamburg today good ball and Papa Daplos that's not the best ball my man I thought it would be a good ball and he's actually on a mare. Going for more, eh? Well done indeed. Papa Dabba's on the ball. Modric, good turn. That's the experience there. Good play. Cody Gakpo. Good ball to More. Hands on the back post. He might be offside though. I don't know. And here's he off. No, he's on. He's done it again. You he's made it again. dirty bastard. It's him again. I thought he might have been offside, but he isn't. Mr. Erlen Haaland, once again, back-to-back -back games, has saved it for Borussia Dortmund. What a finish, what a ball for Moore. I did think that was offside, that's why there's not many limbs here. You can see here, he does look a little bit offside. But the ref and the line obviously haven't seen it. And Erlen Haaland has won us the game for Borussia Dortmund. Once again, the beast steps up, the Viking is there, and he's back. Come on. Alrighty, so can we see off this win now? I think we can. I'm actually just going to go with your defending because we want the win here. Let's have a look at Dupe. One of them more getting the assist there, and he just finishes the game there. What a wild first game of this episode, ladies and gentlemen. A 3 2 win against Hamburg. We left it really late to get the winner there, but we bounced back after we conceded. And there's that man again, Erling Haaland, picking up the goal and the win for us right at the end. A nice. A nice display from the whole team, I think. I think if we just, you know, the second goal was lucky and then the first goal we just switched off. But other than that, we showed the integrity and we got the result against Hamburg. 3-2, we continue on. So, ladies and gentlemen, here we have it then. Can we become reigning champs of the Champions League once again? Can we get past Inter and get past the next round? And you never know, go back-to-back -back Champions League winners. But first... We also got to get the round of 16 out of the way at the San Siro. So let's get into the pre-match conference and see what we can do against Inter away. Come on. Right here, so looking at the two squads, it's going to pick a winner here. Inter and Bristol won two good forms and big prizes. I think we could do it against Inter. I think we've definitely got the strongest team, especially with someone like Erlen Haaland adding to the team now. Shame about Jao Felix, there's nothing against him, but he ain't no Jao um, Erlen Haaland, is he? Let's be honest. Pretty close run thing against Hamburg in last game. It was indeed. I want more consistency. Um, we can improve for sure. I'm going to slay him a little bit because we can. We can definitely improve. We don't want to concede these sloppy goals. So that is why Barry's going to a little bit of attack there on the team. The Borussia Dortmund team has been very in and out. Yeah, it has been. It has been. Picking up silly draws. 0-0 draws. And then they're nearly costing us a draw. But Haaland has had to step up. The boys are working hard on it. We are. Like I said... We need to find that consistent form where we can literally win every game and come across now. Would be ideal. That's all we have time for now. Thank you. But there we go. There is the questions. Let's get into the lineups. 
Ready, ladies and gentlemen, this is the lineup against Inter today. Only two substitutions today, and that is Modric and Mori coming in for Guratuga right there. So, the reason I've done that is because I just liked how they played in the last game. Modric, you see there with the twist and turns, and Mori getting the assist right at the end. They did absolutely fine then too. So that is why Modric goes in for Verts and Guratuga goes off for Mori right there. Regardless of that, the team is the same as per usual. Looking at Inter's side though, a very strong team indeed. Roberto Firmino also leaving Liverpool, going to Inter. Silver up top, Barella. Raya, that was recently with Borussia Dortmund, has gone to there. Branet, Diaby, Brozovic, Kimpimbe as their captain, Onana and Lindelof and Dis Morocco at the back there. Yeah, a very strong team indeed, but we know our real guys. You know, if it gets to the semis and finals, we'll play the full 90s. Because it is a cup game, we are going to play this as a highlight game right here. So let's get into the highlights and see if we can get the dub over Inter. Come on. So here we are then at the San Siro against Inter Milan. Can we win this first leg? I think it's, yeah, it is legs, isn't it? Can we win the first leg against Inter away at their home turf? I like to think we can. I think this is a very even contest. I think, I think we edge it a little bit with our squad, but you never know. They've got a ridiculously good team into Milan, so hopefully we can put on a good team display and come out with a win. I'll take a draw, to be fair, against this very strong Inter team away. But let's find out. Come on, Rodeo. So we've got the first opportunity here and it lands on the 23rd minute for Inter Milan. See what they're going to do on this right-hand side. They're going to play it down into the gap of Firmino. Not a bad turn, but Brown read it. Well done. We're going to position back here. We're getting a chance here. Bruce Dorman counter-attack in the 41st minute. And it looks like Gakpo has got in between number 13 there is for a bit short and we fluffed that chance to be honest i thought gap was going to be free but it doesn't matter because in the 49th minute we've got another counter attacking position here here we go the countdown has started i'm looking at halland can jude play through early hand here halland's gonna try and get past him pimbe but he cannot catch him and get past is this game going to end 0-0? We do not know if Inter going to make the first goal or us but we have got the opportunity right now and then it looks like Verts is on the ball. I'm going to try and go for a bit of an in-swing. I'm looking at Munier there. It's going to Gavi instead. It's a good header down. And it might be still alive here. It's not going to be. It's going to be a foul from Munier or some sort of offside. It looks like it's going to be offside. It doesn't matter. We've got an opportunity in the same angle again. The 55th minute. Pretty much deja vu. Let's see if we have a look here. I think Gavi's glitched in. I'm actually going to go short here. We're going to try something new. We'll go short here. To Verts. I'm going to go for the power shot here. Verts on the power shot, and it's a good save from Onana. A good chance for Borussia Dortmund. And it looks like it's Inter's counter attack right now in the 65th minute. Let's see what they're going to do here. Barella plays it through to Silva. Goes back to Barella. Goes to Bobby Firmino. Good interception from Tomori, and it ends 0 0 in the first leg. A very boring game. The best, probably, chance we had. We have that long shot to the Verts, but other than that, it is no nil. I would take that. Like I said, I would take a draw. It's a bit boring, but now we take Inter back at our home turf. We next play them, and I'm confident we can get the result there on the highlights at our home town right there. So, I'll take. Like I said, I'll take it. I mean, they didn't really look that threatening Inter. They didn't have any clear cut chances, and we looked like the better team. We just got unfortunate not to get the result right there. But no nil at full time. We continue on. So, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to wrap up this episode with an absolute banger. It is second versus first right here, and it is at our home ground against Leipzig. So, can we, if we win this game, we go back up top? So, let's get into the pre-match conference and see what we can do against the Bundesliga leaders in RB Leipzig. Come on. So, here we go then. Reporter with the questions. Apparently, we drew 1-1 one -one with them last time. I think we did. She is right there. I'm feeling confident. We're at home. And this time, we have got the monster in big Erlin Haaland. So I'm up for this. I'm up for this today. I think we can absolutely batter them. Your team struggles to find consistency recently and your tired bed has flattered. Eh? What are you on about? We're second and we're playing first and eight. We win this, we go back up top. We've got to make them for ground. Let's just say that. Let's just uh, give them what they want to hear. I'm, uh, I'm very confident. I'm very confident today. There's always pressure next time in a round of game against your rivals. I'll be like, how have your preparation been going? Are the lads ready for the big occasion? Yes, we are. We're in excellent shape. We are. 
We're looking decent with Hallen coming back in the team. Jude stepping up a lot more Val. And Munya as our new DM. We're looking brilliant. We're looking really, yes, really good. But there's the question. Now let's get into the biggest game of the Bundesliga season. Come on. So ladies and gentlemen, this is the lineup today against RB Leipzig. And as you can see, he has got a minus two, but Tanani is back in the team. So he's an 85 rated, but it's only because he hasn't been playing. So that would definitely change back up to the plot signs. But it's nice to see him back in this big game right here. So we dropped down Munya back into right back over Gure 2 because he's been in decent form. There's no need to drop him right there. Regardless of that, the team stays the same as it is. Looking at live 16 though, Werner, Schlosslebock, and Cam, Bowen, Cabrel, Lima, Skulanga, and DM, Nunes, Hausberg, Simakan, Rum, and Guliski in go right there. A very strong team. You can see why they're at the top of the table. But can we get first after this game today? Can we get the result and go into the top in the Bundesliga? Come on. So here we go then at the yellow wall match day 23 and it's one against one of our biggest rivals in the Bundesliga first versus second whoever wins this game is going to go first or remain first Lose can get a big jump on us if they beat us today Ooh, can we sneak into the first spot with just only a point ahead I'm looking at that main man Haaland and Gakko today to step up they've been in good form I need them to, to step up and get me the result Nice to see Tonali as well back in the team. Hopefully he can uh, control that midfield and stop Werner going through. Come on. So here we go then. Borussia Dortmund in the Bumblebee colours in the yellow and black. And it looks like Leipzig in that oh, red kit there in their away kit. So we just don't want to give any gaps here to Timo Werner. He's definitely their main man up top. He's the one to watch. Tonali, not the best start there coming back from his injury. Jeva with the challenge there. Timo Werner. Good challenge there. Well done, Gabby. Get the pass off. Nice pass off there. And it looks like Haaland could find a gap here. Haaland. Good touch through there. But Halstenberg just cancels him out. I won't be surprised if they double up on Haaland today. Because that's definitely the man I'm going to be hitting a lot. And it looks like Bowen's going to be through here. The former West Ham man. It's a good pass. But Tonali coming back from injury. Steps up. Haaland making the run there. Gabby finds Haaland. Goes to Verts. Can we get it to gap? We can. Can we make it 1-0? Here we can. It's them three again. And I said I was confident. Cody Gakpo has stepped up. Haaland into Verts and Verts into Gakpo. It's a great pass. First pass there and a lovely little cushion finesse into the bottom of the corner. It did come off the post, so a bit fortunate there. But number 11, the flying Dutchman, makes it 1 0 to Dortmund. Is this going to be a battering from Dortmund? Let's find out. Come on. So them three again in Verts, Haaland and Gakpo linking up and getting us the goal. A lovely little bit of a team goal there from the top three. Team Werner running through here, a lot of pace, but Bremen denies him and stops him in his tracks. Good composure there. We get a bit of a dink there, we can. Good little dink there, lovely ball. And Gap pulls through again here, into Verts. We could be through again here, Verts into Haaland. Haaland the first time shot, and it's a good save from Kalesha. We could have probably took that down. But it just felt lovely there for Haaland. We all know what he's capable of, he can score from every angle. What a start for Dortmund, they were absolutely battering Leipzig. Guerrero swinging the ball and it's going to Haaland here. And that is all we're going to get over, I think. Can Bremen win that down? He can't. Oh, it's a mistake there from Timo Werner. And Nunez on the ball here. Can we get it swinged into the box? It's going to Haaland at the back post and Haaland's there! Haaland is there! Come on, man! That's too easy! It's him again! We've got him in the team. And look at the destruction he's doing. A good ball from Munier. I didn't really expect to score that. I just tried to contest for the header. But there's underestimating Erlen Han right there. He absolutely bodies two defenders there. And he makes it 2 0. What a ball and what a leap from the Viking. Come on. So at the moment, this is a walk in the park for Borussia Dortmund. But do not write off the lead leaders in Leipzig. There's a reason they're up there. Five goals in the last four games for Erlen Han is unreal coming back. And we've still got time to play in this game. I've just gone a bit quiet there because I, mean, I didn't know what the hell they was going to do there. I mean, it just kind of glitched out on my screen. Right, Nuno there. Can we get it out? Well done. Good clearance. And actually, what all that is? Gone to go. Great touch as well. And Hallen could be through again. Hey, can he get the dink there? They're still alive. It's a good header down to get cool. 
Let me play less. Look at this. Look. Oh, I just tried to find three verts here. We are looking so good. Learn from Bremer. We'll take that. Goes out for a throw in there. Radio. Stores the ball. Plays a good ball to Jave there. Another good ball for Timo Werner. What can Werner do here? Bremer had a game of his life. Another interception. Well done. Union on the ball here. Unlucky. Can we Jose Mourinho though, starting in though, getting the assist for Haaland. Bremer again that. I'll tell you what, he's on a man match performance as well today. Jude Bellingham now on the ball. Going to strive it through the middle. Keep going there. Look at the pace. Of, look at the pace. It goes to Gakpo again. Back pass there. To Verts now. Can Verts get the goal? It's a good save from Gulitski again. I think he's looking at his defence like, what the hell was going on here? It was an absolute battering so far. It's going to Gakpo on the near post. Still alive. It's a good pass there. Jude Bellingham on the finesse. And it just goes over the bar. And it looks like we're going to take it 2-0 going into half-time here. Could have made it free, but it is what it is. Can we win this header here? Can we just stop this? I mean, it doesn't matter anyway because the ref has blown it for a half-time like we expected. What a half. What a half. Cody Gatlin Halland, I told him to step up in the half so far today. Getting a goal each. Very comfortable at half-time. Look at that look. 13 and the 23rd minute. Very nice indeed. A 2-0 at the break. I'll let you know for many changes. Rodeo, right, ladies and gentlemen, only one substitution, and that is that Gavi's gone off with Golelo. I've just decided to put Golelo back in that centre row because that's where we've naturally played him now. We all know how threatening he is there. And as you see, Moray, I've just converted him into the left back roller for today's game. Not too shabby indeed. Just a bit of a sloppy pass there. We lost possession there. I'm comfortable enough we can uh, defend this. Bremer on the ball. Now he's on the ball. Well done. I, just, I was so confident. I just read the future there, didn't I? But what a game he's having today. Blair on the ball. It's a good pass. Not the best pass, actually. I thought that would be a lot better from him. But we've got the ball back, so... Let's go back to the keeper there. Let's go back to Kobo. No rush there. That's all right. A little dink there. Well done. A lot of composure. Tamori on the ball now. Goes Tamori. Blair on the ball. A lot of speed. A lot of speed. Well done. And Gabble could be a throw again here. Gabriel, can he make it free? And he's decided to head at the donut. I wanted to obviously volley it. Or we'll just normally shoot. And he's decided to head at the absolute donut. Absolute waste opportunity there. And Cody Gabriel, that's why we need to take out of his game. Just see your errors like that. Very annoying. More a good interception. Well done indeed. You bet him on the ball now, though. We can play inside. You can. Alan, why? Alan did want it, but he made the run. It wasn't the best run from him. Because Vers had no way he could play that pass off there. And there's a good ball over the top there for Timo Werner. We switched off a little bit there and it just goes wide. And that's why we cannot switch off because they can definitely get back into this game with just one goal. Rafael Leal is coming on for Gabriel here. For some reason, I don't know why that man's not starting. He is an absolute phenomenal talent. Especially for Milan in real life. So why they are putting him on the bench, I do not know. Very strange indeed. But Bremer, good switch out wide there. Scared runner from Jude Ben. We all get it. Haaland's lingering in the box again. I can see Haaland lingering. We just can't get lucky there. Unlucky indeed. We're going to win this header down, it seems. That's fair. We've still got possession here. Mm, that's all right. Nah, a bit sloppy there, actually. Well done, Brent. Again. I'm going to say he's my man of the match. I know Haaland and Gapo's been very good, but bremer has been my man of the match. He's been brilliant. It's a nice sloppy touch there. Oh, and here come. RB Leipzig, they could get a chance here. Bowen on the ball here. It's a good ball into Rafael and back into Bowen and Kobo with a great save. Just pushes it onto the post. A quick snappy shot. And we just get away with them. Nuno on the ball here. Just driving with it up the pitch. You can see Hallam making a run. We just couldn't get it into him. It's just a little more power than we could have done in there. More on the ball. Still on the ball. Gakpo's linger on the back post. Here's and Hallen. It's Gakpo's oh! Getting mixed up with both strokes. They've been absolutely hitting cylinders recently. Unlucky indeed there. Modric on for Galero there. I don't think I've subbed on the Hosland today. I think, you know, these two have been hitting brilliant forms. There's no reason to bring him on. The uh, substitution strike that we also bought when we got Haaland. Nunes on the ball here. It looks like we're going to get a result today, which means we should go top of the league at the end of this episode. Let's not speak too soon here. Well done. Again, Bremer is 
What a game he's had. What a game. Uh, we might as well get Guru Suk on from Union. Why not? Just get them fresh legs up. They've sent the keeper up. I don't know why. The 2 0 down. They're definitely not going to get the result today. There we go. Can we get the touch there? We can. And the referee's denies the third goal because we probably would have scored that with Tanali with an open net. But it doesn't matter. We have done the task at hand. And Borussia Dortmund go first in the league, where well, we should do anyway. A comfortable game in the end. I feel bad for Rafael. I mean, why he's in that RB Leipzig team? I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, it's a good team, but just on the bench, he needs to be a starter. We was able to keep out Werner. We, he nearly got a chance. We didn't take it. It skims it past the post, but 2-0 there for Borussia Dortmund. We continue on. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to wrap up today's episode today. A very comfortable episode today. And as you can see, Borussia Dortmund are back up top with RB Leipzig and Bayern behind us. That is where we want to finish the end of the season. Not too bad in the Champions League as well. I'll take the draw against Inter in the 0-0. So, not too shabby indeed. Actually, before we end it, we've got a player chat here. So, let's have a look going here. Um... I want to pay my space to now. Okay, I don't know why I actually may have kind of piping up, but it is what it is, I suppose. You, you know, you do you. But yeah, not too bad today. Very good indeed. We got the results. Haaland again saving us with the result as well, which is very nice to see. And it just shows Gakpo is still there scoring goals as well. He could have, could have scored in that last game again there, getting three goals, but he just had a bit of a shocker deciding ahead in it for some reason. But I just want to end on a note. I just want to apologize for the third time if uh, the order just sounds a little bit off. You might not actually hear it, but from my end now recording this, it sounds a little bit iffy. So I do apologize for that. I'll try and get it fixed as soon as possible. So yeah, ladies, ladies and gentlemen, if you did like this video, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.